reproduction sexual reproduction leucosolenia is monoecious male and female reproductive cells or gametes are formed in the same individual no special gonads are formed sperm and ova are derived from archaeocyte by gametogenesis sperms are released into sea water and they make their way into another sponge to a region of a mature ovum development ovum is fertilized by a sperm within maternal body wall forming a diploid zygote the zygote undergoes equal and holoblastic cleavage developing into a holoblastula its wall consists of a single layer of narrow elongated columnar and flagellated cell at the posterior pole of larva occurs a group of large rounded granular non flagellated cells these are believed to be archaeocyte which form all future archaeocytes and reproductive cells of leucosolenia this granular cell later wander into the cavity of embryo some of the adjacent flagellate cells also lose their flagella and become amoeboid and pass into the internal cavity the larva now reaches a stage corresponding to the planula larva of ceylon traits it is termed a stereogastrula or parenchymula and consist of an external layer of flagellated cells and an inner mass of amoeboid cells it has no mouth opening parenchymula swims freely for some hours then it becomes fixed by its interior pole and develops into a flat plate within an irregular outline most of the amoeboid cells migrate to external surface passing between flagellated cells and form the pinacodon and mesenchyme flagellated cells thus enclosed become the coenocyte a central cavity or spongocil appears which increases in size becomes lined by coenocytes and opens to outside by an osmium certain non flagellated cells in the wall of sponge or porocyte become perforated to form incurrent pore or ostia monoexone and tridate spicules are secreted by the scleroblast or modified amoeboid cells within a few days or its attachment the larva is converted into adult ascanoid sponge